Insurance Alerts is India's largest and Asia's second-largest exclusive insurance news platform reaching over 20 countries twice daily to insurance professionals with over 40% to top management of insurance companies, brokers, Insurdec, TBAs, and web aggregators. We are connected to over 22,500 on LinkedIn. Our Insurance Alerts broadcast is the world's only exclusive insurance content YouTube channel with over 100 videos on insurance. Welcome to Insurance Alert Broadcast. I'm Vivek Jain here. Today, we have a guest from Sri Lanka, Mr. Sandeep Gopal. He is CEO, Fair First Insurance Limited. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Vivek. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, sir, first, I wanted to know about your company. Of course, Vivek. So Fair First Insurance Limited is um, a subsidiary of Fairfax Insurance Group. It's a global group with over $20 billion in premium. Uh, our global CEO is Prem Vatsa, who has Indian roots, uh, but then emigrated to Canada, but still has very strong ties with India, which I'm sure you and most of the audience will know. Uh, Fairfax as a company uh, came into being, as a brand came into being five years ago. It came as a result of amalgamation of two local companies in the market. Uh, and now we are number four in the market in terms of market size. And uh, we are one of the leading profitable companies in, in the industry here. We do only general insurance. We don't write life, uh, but in general, we cover motor, medical, property, casualty, and value. So that's a very quick overview of the first insurance limit. Okay. Uh Coming to our subject, what we wanted to understand, what are the uh, like opportunities you see in uh, Sri Lanka in times to come? So Sri Lanka is a beautiful country. Uh, it's called the Paradise Island for a reason. I think it has got a lot of potential uh, in, in terms of natural resources, in terms of tourism, in terms of skilled labor. Uh, and I think it has, it is now starting to, it, it has an opportunity to live up to its potential. The GDP growth has been a bit subdued in the past few years, but that being said, I think once foreign investments come in, there's a lot of opportunity for the country to grow. Insurance penetration within the country is also low, which is again, a fantastic opportunity for the insurers, both on the life and general side. And I think as the country grows, as the investable assets in the country grows, general insurance will have a lot of opportunities as well. So in my mind, I think Sri Lanka is, is, like, a, is like a cricketer in his young 20s, right? Where it has got a whole, it's just getting there, just getting into their rhythm, right? In the next 15, 10, 15 years, it will really reach its potential. So we are glad to be in Sri Lanka and we consider ourselves a Sri Lankan company. And what are the challenges you feel uh, will be there in times to come? No, great question, uh, Vivek. I think, um, as I said, insurance penetration is low as of now, and that comes as a result of awareness about insurance. And that is gonna be something that's an opportunity and a challenge at the same time. I think uh, probably the audience is aware of the, of the macroeconomic environment in Sri Lanka right now, which I think is a temporary issue and it should get resolved in the next few months actually. And there'll be a long road ahead in terms of recovery. But that being said, I think the challenge will be to manage that phase, that phase when there will be less disposable income with people and the companies. And how do we make sure that insurance is still a top of the agenda for them and giving them necessary protection that they uh, Sri Lanka does have some of the lowest insurance rates in South Asia. And again, for me, it's a challenge, but it's also an opportunity. I think it just shows that we can grow more here. So those are some of the challenges. We have. Which are the segments you think uh, has a tremendous growth potential? Like you're seeing across the world, I think health has a huge potential here as well. Uh, I, it, in terms of people who are insured in the market, I think the proportion is still in the low digits. Um, and now with the pandemic for the good or the worst, the, the awareness around health insurance is massive. And we as a company, we also do micro insurance. Uh, we have been doing it for a while now. Where we 
work through certain telecom operators and, and sell what is very essential, uh, like daily hospital cash kind of products to, to subscribers, right? Through our own call center mechanism. And what we've been seeing is that although, you know, there has been a reduction because the disposable income is coming down. When we talk to people, one of the services they want to still have or covers they still want to have is insurance. So they still want to keep that protection for themselves and their family. Uh, so I think that is going to be a huge area of growth for Sri Lanka. The other one I would say is, uh, you know, your commercial classes, your property casualty and marine. Uh, and that's purely because I think the foreign direct investments will start coming in. Uh, just like what happened with your Vietnams and Thailands a couple of decades ago, I think that's gonna start happening in Sri Lanka as well. And once that happens, the insurable assets in the country will go up, the production will go up, the GDP will go up, and that will naturally result in a demand for insurance. So I think those are the two biggest opportunities that I see in the general insurance space. What about MSMEs? You think there's a huge market for that also or uh, not much of uh, scope there? So in the, in the short to medium term, uh, Vivek, there will be limited opportunities there to start with. Uh, but the thing is that a large proportion of that, of that segment is not really insured well as of today. So even in the existing market, even without that growing, there is still an opportunity to provide cover to them. And this is cover which is you know, for the medical, for the staff, for any motor fleets they may have, any property, any marine they need, all of that will get covered in that. But as a segment of growth, um, I think it might be a bit subdued for the next couple of years. And we just need to watch out for making sure that, this, that the companies that are now there, at the medium and small enterprises, how can we offer them offer them those services? So it is one of the key segments for us. We, we, we offer a lot of services to them. What about life insurance? Life insurance is doing really well. Uh, and since we are not in life insurance, I didn't yeah. comment about it. But if you look at the growth of the industry in 2021, while general insurers grew by roughly less than 2 or 3%, life insurance has done has grown more than 5% in the, in the last year. And they're expected to do that in the coming years as well. So again, as I said, because of the awareness of the need for life and health insurance, uh, that market has really grown. Fine. Uh, so, well, thank you so much for your uh, time. And uh, we'll be in touch with you for more updates in times to come. Thanks, Vivek. It's my pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you so much.